DuPont has a long-standing and ongoing commitment to the medical and pharmaceutical packaging industry that began in 1972 when Tyvek was first used for sterile packaging. Since that time, Tyvek has been used in virtually every form of sterile medical packaging for a wide variety of products, including cardiovascular catheters, sutures, endoscopic instrumentation, surgical preparation kits, injection systems, electrosurgical accessories, and implantable devices, just to name a few. Its unique balance of properties, which include outstanding resistance to microbial penetration while maintaining breathability, puncture resistance, protection during distribution, and compatibility with a wide range of sterilization methods have enabled sterility maintenance of medical devices to protect the health of literally millions of patients worldwide. We are proud of the role Tyvek has historically played in this industry, and we continue to be focused on the future, a future that will include new medical device technologies and growing demand, particularly as the world's aging population increases and access to quality medical care improves in developing nations, a future that will require innovative packaging using trusted Tyvek solutions. To meet this growing demand, and to help ensure greater continuity and flexibility of future supply. We will be transitioning Tyvek 1073B and 1059B to manufacturing lines that use our latest flash spinning technology. Tyvek 2FS and Assuron were commercialized on this manufacturing technology and therefore are not required to be part of the transition. Working with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, we have developed a transition protocol that is based on sound principles of design and statistical analysis. This protocol was recently approved by the U.S. FDA. We will be working with a select group of sterile packaging manufacturers and medical device manufacturers to prove out the protocol. The transition protocol is a systematic method for generating data to prove that the Tyvek produced with the latest flash spinning technology is functionally equivalent in performance to the Tyvek you now use. DuPont is investing more than $30 million to ensure that you have ample supply of Tyvek 1073B and 1059B for the future and to prove functional equivalence so there will be no need for regulatory resubmissions. In the past, you may have heard about plans for a transition. Today, I will describe what this transition project is all about and how we are working to help our customers mitigate or eliminate the cost associated with this change. First, we will be moving production of Tyvek 1073B and 1059B from older to newer manufacturing equipment that utilizes our latest flash spinning technology. Second, we will be qualifying multiple global polymer suppliers. All polymers will continue to be virgin high density polyethylene. Third, we will be qualifying the manufacture of Tyvek 1073B and 1059B at two global locations in Richmond, Virginia and in Luxembourg. These changes will allow us to take advantage of new flash spinning and polymer technologies that were not available when Tyvek 1073B and 1059B were commercialized. They will also increase our manufacturing capacity for these products helping to ensure ample future supply. To date, DuPont and several sterile packaging manufacturers have performed extensive preliminary testing on developmental samples to verify that product attributes meet the industry's needs. We are presently working with a select group of global sterile packaging manufacturers and medical device manufacturers to extensively evaluate prototypic materials. Based on the results of this work, we are currently targeting second quarter 2012 as the time frame in which we will manufacture material to create more than 50,000 packages for protocol testing. Packages will include pouches 
and or header bags, flexible blisters, and rigid trays. Sterilization verification will be done according to each medical device manufacturer's internal protocol and will include several sterilization methods used by a majority of the medical device industry. We will verify functional equivalence by testing these packages against control packages at a third-party laboratory. Tests will include visual inspection, seal strength, package integrity, and microbial barrier. Test data will be generated and collected pre-sterilization, post-sterilization, and post-sterilization under accelerated and real-time aging conditions. We will then statistically analyze the data and provide the analysis to the US FDA to demonstrate functional equivalence. DuPont's goal with the transition protocol is to help our customers mitigate or eliminate the costs associated with this change by proving the functional equivalence of Tyvek produced using our latest flash spinning technology. The bottom line is this. Proving functional equivalence will eliminate the need for regulatory resubmissions. As Bruce explained, we will statistically analyze the data generated by the third-party laboratory and provide the analysis to the US FDA. A summary report will be provided to other governing or regulatory bodies, including the Japanese Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, select European notified bodies, and the SFDA in China. The statistical analysis of the data will be used to show that Tyvek produced as a result of the transition does not represent a significant change in functional performance compared to the Tyvek you use today. The FDA would then issue guidance indicating that medical device manufacturers would not routinely be required to file amended 510Ks or PMAs for existing devices because the transition represents a merge or lot change. With this guidance, medical device manufacturers simply will be required to document this in each applicable device record and conduct any additional testing as determined by their organization. Now I'd like to share the timeline we've established for the transition protocol. As you can see, this process will take several years to complete. It is a very comprehensive, systematic approach that includes considerable package creation, rigorous testing after both accelerated and real-time aging conditions, extensive data analysis, and critical review by the US FDA. Looking at some key milestones, we anticipate submitting the data to the US FDA by the first quarter of 2014, and expect to have the US FDA affirm functional equivalence by the second quarter of 2014. Based on this timing, we expect that the transition period for the majority of medical device manufacturers to begin using Tyvek 1073B and 1059B manufactured on the newer equipment will take place in 2014 and 2015. This is truly a collaborative effort involving DuPont, sterile packaging manufacturers, medical device manufacturers, and regulatory authorities around the world. DuPont appreciates the efforts of all those involved, now and in the future and looks forward to continuing to work together to make this transition process seamless. To help you stay informed throughout the transition process, we have created a special section on our website where you'll be able to find the latest transition information, such as when key milestones are reached, as well as helpful resources. And because we understand how critical timely communications are to the success of your business, we will be making announcements well in advance about any actions that your organization may be required to take. Of course, members of the DuPont team are available to answer any specific questions you may have. You can rest assured that DuPont will continue to supply the medical device and pharmaceutical industries with the proven Tyvek products they trust and need to meet demand both now and in the future.